Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. Right now, I wanted to take you down memory lane, and with a bit of nostalgia, I want you to close your eyes and picture the most reliable runaround that's ever been in New Zealand. So I'm assuming a large amount of you pictured this very car here, the, the old 90s Corolla which is not an unfair guess. It's won a number of accolades and has been well known as being a highly reliable and very simple runaround. The thing that I want to find out today is, is the Corolla still what it used to be? I'm sure a lot of us had a Corolla as maybe a first car or your mum had one and that's what you learned to drive in. What's important to me is if something's not broken, it doesn't need fixing. Have they unnecessarily fixed this car? Let's find out. So the first impressions of course are the styling. I think that what they've done is they've kept it up to date but they haven't gone over the top which is a theme that kind of goes through the whole car. I think that the car looks fine, it's actually got quite nice rear end on it, it looked kind of a little bit sporty. But I think that they've done a good job of keeping it relevant and keeping it up to date without going over the top. They've kept it simple which is an important thing for a Corolla. Let's have a look inside. So being a smaller car we're not expecting too much boot space but what you do get is actually quite reasonable. You easily fit the weekly shop in there and you can actually for an optional thousand dollars put on a uh, factory tow bar for taking the bikes or whatever you got. So what they've done with the interior of this car, this being the SX model, it's the mid-range model, so we've got cloth fabric and it's actually quite nice. A lot of people are preferring cloth over leather these days and there are some benefits for it. What they've done with the interior on this, being the SX model, this is the mid-tier offering, it's quite simple and it's nothing that you don't need and sort of all the basics that you would expect. So you've got a digital radio, you've got satellite navigation, it all works, it's all functional, it's all pretty good stuff. Um, the stereo is actually quite good. In terms of the steering wheel and the gauge cluster, it's all, again, it's very basic, but it does what it needs to do. It's got all the functionality that you want, and again, not anything that you don't need, which is kind of going back to the old thing about the Corolla, is that it was a very simple, bare bones, did the job, nothing you don't need kind of a car. And that hasn't changed, so I actually quite respect that, because they didn't see the need to add anything that was unnecessary to drive up the price, keeping the price down as much as possible. I think this one's about 32000 There's a couple of little updates that have made it maybe lose a little bit of its nostalgia. For example, the first handbrake turn that I ever did was in a Corolla, but this has got a digital or electronic handbrake, so you can't really do that anymore. Bit of a shame. Also, one of the more important things, and I'll get onto this in a bit more detail while we're driving, is that we've gone for a CVT transmission, which is, and there's no manual offering at all, which is unfortunate because I feel like a little car like this really does need to be a manual. They've done a really nice simple system for the air conditioning, basic buttons for each function, and a couple of knobs. It's really quite simple, and again, simple yet effective. Does its job perfectly. All right, let's do this. Electric start. Keyless start, electric handbrake, into drive, and away we go. Steering's very light. I think it's got progressive steering because it does feel a bit firmer when you're up at uh, motorway speeds. But cruising around like suburbia or where we are here in Albany in the industrial area, it's um, yeah, super nimble. Actually, I might just chuck it in sport, get a little more pep. It's been an eco and we're we're already doing pretty good on that front. Actually on that note, that was one of the first things I noticed when I got this home, was that we'd achieved 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres. That's impressive. Even for a little car, that's pretty damn good. So, I think what I was saying about the outside and the car in general about its history being very much based around necessity and very little else, has, has rained through to this car. It's got all the basics that you want. Like I said, you've got all of the you know technology that you want at a base level and nothing else that you don't need driving up the price. Which is a good thing because there need to be cars at this price point and there needs to be reliable cars at this price point. And given Toyota's history at making great cars, there's no reason that the Corolla shouldn't still be known as being a great reliable little runaround which is inexpensive and good. I think one of the things that's quite clever about a Corolla is 
pretty much anyone can drive one and not look out of place. For example, if you were 65 and retired and you were driving to the RSA, this is a perfectly acceptable car. If you're a 21 year old Instagram model or social influencer, sorry, throw up in my mouth, um, you know, you wouldn't look un, uh, out of place in a car like this. It's, it's quite clever in the way that it does that because it's really an anybody's car. Anybody can drive this and it's easy, it's basic, it's very bare bones and almost Spartan in, in, a, in a way. Actually, visibility in this car is a huge thing. You've got so much vision all the way around. Lots of glass, big windscreen. It's actually very, very good. And you want that little car because you're darting in and out. You want to be able to see everything. You want to be able to see these things. Wee. It's kind of hard to really find much to say about this car because of what it is. It's... And that's a good thing because it means that it's staying true to its heritage of being a simple basic get the job done run around and it hasn't changed and that's important to me that the essence of what this car has always been is what it still is and that's good but other than that it's kind of hard to find stuff to talk about well the Corolla still the car of the people still a great little car not really much more to say about it to be honest I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, all that good jazz, and we'll see you on the next episode. Cheers. It's a car coming.